what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're going to talk about i know what you did last summer in this video here today the upcoming legacy sequel and this is going to be mostly about uh julie james jennifer love hewitt who has given some sort of tease i would say about her return uh it seems like she was also referencing that pitch that she reportedly was ecstatic about or was game for after hearing it as it was reported back in 2023 so entertainment tonight caught up with jennifer love hewitt recently and asked her about the upcoming return of i know what you did last summer or as i like to purposely call it i know what you did last summer three when asked if she can confirm that julie james is back jennifer said i can't confirm but i won't deny how about that then he would entertain a hypothetical possibility digging into some bits of the pitch she report she was reportedly on board for when asked about what Ju julie would be like today she said she states she kind of states the obvious more than anything about julie being older julie still kick ass but she doesn't know what's planned because she hasn't seen a script yet but she assumes it will be a lot of screaming and running around now the not seeing a script part does line up with sinistel's reports that the script apparently isn't ready so she's kind of backing that up in a way but first things first deadline who is very reliable as one of the big reputable outlets for entertainment already revealed in 2023 that hewitt and prince again they were game for this legacy film after hearing the pitch which also reportedly blew the sony execs away i believe jen at least knows julie is pivotal for this story i believe that was told to her during this pitch that got her on board i believe she at least knows that that she's pivotal for this pitch to work, as Sinistuff reported, and as the writer Lay McKendrick recently provided clarity on, she has to know about the fact that social media plays a factor in this pitch too. Because who is Julie James in a world where there are no secrets? These are the exact words that uh, McKendrick gave to Collider in that recent interview. She said, at its core, I think it will really reckon with some big ideas about hero and villain, right and wrong, how your skeletons come back to haunt you. And in the age of the internet, in the age of where fame is such a revered concept, the creation of TikTok and social media, who is Julie James in a world where there are no secrets anymore? A few of you at this point have reached out to me, some in the comment section, some on social media DMs, to remind me of this very crucial plot point from the first two movies. Julie and Ray lied to the authorities about Ben Willis and why he was after them, saying they had no idea why he might have wanted to target them. Now, of course, she confessed to her friend Carla in the sequel what actually happened and how they lied to the authorities. So let's just say that all these years later in this third film, let's pretend we're in the same town. Ben Willis and his attack on Julie and her friends has become this big trend of sorts. People wear the fisherman costume for Halloween, etc. The I Know What You Did Last Summer Legacy sequel could just be about pulling a Pretty Little Liars type of angle, if you will. And that's Ray and Julie's lie is going to be exposed all these years later. But by who? My heart wants to put that assignment on Helen and Elsa's youngest sibling. Someone born after those two girls' demise, even though a lot of people like me agree that Helen should have lived, this can be someone born after their demise all these years later because their parents needed a way to cope with losing two daughters. So this child had a rough upbringing of being overprotected, being reminded how they could end up just like their sisters if they aren't careful in this town, told about how no one knows why Ben Willis went after their sister and her friends. Basically, the parents never properly recovered from that loss and it has had the worst impact on their youngest child. Said child, because of these constant reminders, naturally wishes they got to know their sisters, probably also becomes inquisitive as if there is a reason why Ben Willis went after their sisters and their friends, wishing their sisters were alive so they could have a better upbringing and just spend time with their older sisters. It's already been reported that this is likely going to take a Scream 2022 approach. Sony also saw it important to not reboot the franchise but do a sort of passing of the torch type sequel where original cast members are brought back as new generation cast members are added to the ensemble similar to films like scream or creed as the deadline report mentioned back in 2023 so this helen shivers sibling i'm just thinking of could stalk julie and her presumed children as well maybe this sibling works at the high school everyone attends what sparked the spree is just the fact that they learned there is a reason why Ben Willis went after them, a reason why Ben Willis killed their sister. Blame it all on Julie and Ray. 
and Julian Ray in their eyes are the reason why they had such a poor upbringing because their lies had all these negative consequences on this person's life. So they're gonna don the fisherman costume, remind them of the lie they told all those years ago, remind them of the of the siblings that this person lost as a result of their lie. Had they had been a little bit more truthful, maybe Elsa and Helen wouldn't be dead. Maybe their childhood wouldn't have been so messed up. Uh, but Julian Ray's lies about running over Ben Willis or not telling people they ran over Ben Willis, lying to the authorities about how they have no idea why he went after them. All of that will be exposed by this person. You could do it in some grand scale way where the person forces Julie to confess it on some sort of live stream that probably puts her career at risk. If she's some big high profile person now, all of that can be unraveled in a legacy sequel to I Know What You Did Last Summer. And it's the simplest route to take. It is, considering that there is that lie that they told that you could easily toy with all these years later. It kind of writes itself. So, anyway, Jen's energy and refusal to deny the return during this interview typically signals to people like me and others that she's back. She's just not going to tell us that because she's not able to. I look forward to seeing what comes of this film. I really do. I hope that it can live up to everyone's expectations. Hopefully it's just something that's decent. Hopefully it's better than the actual third film that we have. Because in reality, this is still I Know What You Did Last Summer 4. But I'm going to keep calling it 3. I am going to keep calling it 3. Because I feel this is the true third film in the franchise. Not objectively, subjectively. Yes, I know how to count. Of Yes, I wouldn't mind seeing Brandy back. But if Brandy is not back, I see no reason to kind of retcon the sequel. If it's just a sequel to that first movie... I wouldn't be completely against that either, but I want material in here that at least still keeps I Still Know What You Did Last Summer canon. Even though, again, I think the first film is far superior to the sequel. The sequel just has a better setting. And I would say it's a lot more fun to watch in certain ways because of its setting, but a lot of the logistics and everything about it doesn't compare to that first film and how I found that to be a lot more engaging overall. And that chasing with Helen, just very iconic. Granted, Carla does have something that you could say almost rivaled it or outdid it. <laughs> Brandy did a great job in that sequel. I would love to see Brandy back. But let me know what you guys think about Jennifer Love Hewitt's comments down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You're name is the video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there and let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.